Hey folks, it's Travis here. Uh, just got a Christmas tree at Walmart. It's a day after, it's New Year's Day 2021. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize if you're raining against the wind that's raining outside. What a beautiful way to start the year. But uh, hey, on the positive side, 2020 didn't set the bar very high, so it's a pretty good chance we're going to have a better year this year, I hope. Uh, but I want to do a review of this tree, and I, ha I didn't take time to do any shaping or forming on it, so... It'll have a better shape next year once I bring it back out of storage. But before I put it in storage, I wanted to do a little review on it and show everybody what it was like. I bought it at Walmart. It was normally $350. I got it on clearance for about $80. Uh, this is the Holiday Time 7.5 foot pre lit Aspen Quick Set Holiday Symphony Spruce. It's a 7.5 foot tall tree. It's 4.17 feet in diameter. Has 2,153 branch tips. And it has 540 pre-strung multicolor RGB lights on it. On the bottom of this thing, it has an integrated speaker. It comes with seven songs pre-programmed on it. Uh, one of the first one's Carol of the Sugar Plums. The other one's Deck the Halls. The third one is Candela Teaser. The fourth one is Joy to the World. Oh, come all ye faithful mashup. Uh, fifth is We Wish You a Merry Jingle Bells. Uh, sixth is a Russian dance, and seven is Toys on the Housetop. Each one of those has its own separate light show. And then if you don't want music, uh, you can turn the music down. This thing comes with remote control, as you can see. It comes with remote. You can turn the music down on all those. Turn it up as loud as you want or as low as you want. Matter of fact, you can turn it all the way down and uh, pretty much mute it if you don't want any music. But it also comes with a couple presets. Uh, silent light shows. It has a multi-color uh, steady glow. It has a, a warm white steady glow, which to, to me looks a little bit more orange. Uh, has a couple other ones, but I'm going to turn the lights off and uh, fire the tree up and let y'all see what it looks like. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through all or let it play through everything in totality because this video would end up being an hour long probably. To listen to each one of these songs but uh just to give you an idea this is the off mode that's on and if you'll notice it's supposed to, this is supposed to be simulating a fire if you notice the bottom stays on uh, all the time it's kind of base uh, yellow well it's when it starts off it simulates fire it has a lot of different uh effects on this first program it, it's a lot of varieties. Uh, but it started off on a fire. If you'd have noticed at the top, it wasn't very lit at the bottom. It was, it was lit really strong. It was lit up permanent. This is pretty neat. It's going to go... This is multiple. I'm not going to play through every... Let this setting here play out because this one is about 10 or 15 minutes long. But uh, we'll move on to the next one. This is that one I told you it's supposed to be cool white, but to me, it looks a little bit more uh, orangish, uh, pale orange, but it is kind of pretty. This would be a good one to have it on when you're setting them, if you have it in your TV room so it doesn't distract you. And then this is steady on. Let's get a feel for all the lights. And then we're back to off, but now we will go through the music modes. I have the volume turned up loud so you can hear it too. on to the next one.
Well, now we'll move on to uh, the third setting, Candelera Teaser. And I don't know if you can hear it. But right now it sounds like a fireplace crackling. As you can see, it kind of resembles a fireplace to begin with. It's almost 4th of July-ish. Maybe I have to leave it up for the 4th of July, celebrate my birthday. Just leave it on this song. Turn the volume down a little bit. And then here is Joy to the World of Come All Ye Faithful. Wish you a merry jingle bells. Now we'll head on over to uh, preset song number six, The Russian Dance. And this must be Toys on the Housetop. It's playing right through. That was pretty neat. I will tell y'all now, my phone camera 
is not doing this tree justice because I don't think y'all are seeing the yellows and the pastel colors that are mixed in with this. It is a truly beautiful tree though, and I am glad I spent the $80 on it. I had actually debated on getting rid of the tree I have now and starting to use a real tree, but I may have to put that off for a couple more years now and use this one. And I do believe that my, she'll be three next Christmas. My granddaughter Bella will thoroughly enjoy this tree. And we're right back to the Carol of the Sugar Plums. But uh, I turned it off back to that first setting. As you can see, it's kind of the fire. And it should take off into the other presets here in a second. This one is pretty neat. I haven't actually watched this entire series in this preset. But I do know it goes through a lot of different possibilities and different scenarios on this. But I'm not going to leave it on here. That's the tree. Uh, if you like it... Uh, Go snag you one at Walmart next year. I do believe it was a. Uh, it's in box T68. There's the actual. That's how much I paid for it. Well, not how much I paid for it. How much it would have been. I got it 75% off with a little over $80. But uh, that's how much you'll pay for it if you buy it at Christmas time. But I would sneak out to Walmarts right now and see if I could find one on clearance. Because this is a heck of a tree for 80 some dollars. I actually think it ended up being like 85 84 with tax, uh, before tax. But still, that's not bad for a $350 tree that does all this. Y'all have a pleasant rest of your winter. A happy uh, 2021. And be safe.